What's going on, people? We are back again with another freaking video, and this one right here is all about Natalie in the most recent episode of 90 Day Fiance The Single Life. And this one is season three, episode seven. I don't know why I forget these things to be honest with you, but anyway, let's not waste any more time. Let's start off by giving a big massive shout out to every single person that is a member of the channel, that is a member of Patreon, and that is a subscriber as we continue to grow. Now, with that being said, let's see exactly what goes down this week with Natalie and her interesting self shall i say yeah <laughs> but anyway let's get into it today is my last day with josh in arizona it might be last day ever he told me come to arizona show you good time did he show me no what did we have we met his uh, ex-wife on the board i thought he did show you a good time to begin with because you had your loving and now he's going to be the father of your children i thought that was a good thing <laughs> <laughs> oh man natalie the one that can never be pleased because her standards are not even on this freaking planet anyway we continue oh you know succeed and i'm gonna talk with josh about our relationship what i want to get out of it and how i want it to grow if he is not into it bye hey. Hi. so uh it's beautiful out that we'd enjoy some of the arizona scenery today I only you and me? Only, only me and you, that's it. That's it. Okay. Oh, wow. No, oh, it's low. It's very low. Alright, here we go. Ready? <laughs> Let's just take in this moment of happiness. Right now, she's having the time of her life. She's smiling. But let's just take it for what it is right now because we know whatever's about to come next is going to be explosive because this woman right here, god damn. Anyway, let's continue. So, this is where we're going to go right here. Is that fun? I love it. <laughs> Do you like the hike? Yes, it At least you're going to get some real. Arizona uh, scenery today. All right, so here is the hole in the rock. Oh my god. Watch your step. Just I watch love step. it. Oh my god, it's a very magical place. This is nice. Thank you for giving me your time. Of course. <laughs> uh, all right, you want to go back down? Okay, careful, careful. Fun? Yes, thank yeah. you. What's on your mind? I like you a lot, and I try to understand like how to fit you into my plan. Okay. Well, what do you want? I realize I came to years and I got married. I separated and I'm lost, you know. I wanted to have a child like many years ago and it just didn't work. I want to have a family. I love how she projects her whole life on, onto, onto other people. This happened to me many years ago. Nobody cares what happened many years ago. What, what matters is what's happening right now. The present and the future. The past? Nah. You can't be bringing that into someone else's life and putting that onto them. This woman right here, super selfish, super self-centered. Everything, she, oh, you know what? Let's just continue. Family, eventually. I want to have a, be a mom. I can't waste my life on someone who doesn't want family. Sure. Well, I didn't say I didn't want a family. Say, I have family. Do you want I, I, I have, okay. I have I a family. I want my child. Sure. I couldn't get pregnant with my husband in UK. I went to clinic and I started to drink medicine, do all tests, and after the two shoots. And I started this, and after I stopped because we started fighting, and I decided to stop for a while, and it was emotionally hard on me. Did my mother try it? Uh, no. I didn't have much sex with Mike, to be honest. <laughs> But the times that I had, I wanted a child. But I never got pregnant. That's interesting. She didn't have that much sex with Michael. Hmm. Probably because she was too busy moaning and crying and fussing about madness. But also at the same time, does that indicate that she didn't actually find him attractive and that she used him to come to America? Because I remember that season um, where Michael and Natalie obviously were together for the first time. I remember it came out, Michael then found out that she had a history of dating American men and that history involved her actually applying to come to America, but something always went wrong. 
I'm not too sure if I remember that detail to its exact correctness, but she definitely has a history of trying to get to America before Michael existed. Now, I remember that put Michael's guard up for a little bit as well, but of course, they proceeded, and obviously, she's now in the USA. It's crazy because Michael even said that he didn't even apply for the green card, didn't he, in one of the reunions. I think it was last season's The Single Life, to be fair, in that reunion when he went, you know, tell also when he popped up. I'm not too sure, but either way, though, like, I just feel like if she was, she's a sexual person. That's, that's my point. So if she wasn't that sexual with Michael, it has to be for a reason. She definitely used him. That's just my opinion, to be honest with you. Or, may, or maybe Michael just wasn't attracted to her. Maybe Michael just hated her, her attitude. And her attitude just never made her attractive enough to him to want to always be with her. There is that to some point too. We've got to flip it on both sides. Hmm. Hmm. Let me know what you think. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Would you consider? Not with me, just in general, for future, her one more child ever. I mean, it's not out of the question. Um, you know, but I don't know. It's not like a priority of mine right now because, as you can see, I have a lot going on and my time is super limited. And uh, I don't want to take something else on that I won't be able to give my time and attention to. Thank you for your answer, Alexa. I don't like it. You don't like it? That would be good to hear no. At least I don't waste my time on you. It's not, it's not yes. It's not no. It's, I need to make sure that I have... It doesn't seem like getting any answers. Are you okay with that? I'm not okay with it. You know, I'm actually not even going to judge because I understand that sometimes in life you need clarity in certain areas. And, you know, based on age and all that kind of stuff, I understand that she wants something that's a bit more direct to be fair because I'd be hypocrite to say that she's not being fair because I'm always going in about how Shaida is towards Bilal and the way Bilal should be more, more, more direct, all that kind of stuff. So to be fair with you, um, I don't want to be hypocrite in that, in that sense. So if she feels like his answer isn't giving her enough clarity, enough confirmation, I understand. That's fine. So really and truly, though, what she should do is just walk away because I don't believe in this whole thing about, OK, well, I want to. Like, I hate it when we're in a position where we're watching someone like Natalie or Shaido, and they're trying to purposely force a man to give him a child. It's not healthy. You shouldn't be give, having children with anyone that you should force to want it, do you know what I mean? If you're ready and they're not ready, well, then it, you just, maybe, you see, but you decide to be patient and wait for him to be ready, or you just walk away. Personally, I think it's better to probably just walk away, you know, because... Um, there's a chance that that person who's not ready may never be ready, to be fair with you, especially if they've already got children of their own. So to be honest with you, the fact is this, Natalie should just leave the situation. But we know Natalie. She likes to make everything so freaking difficult. Anyway, we continue. He didn't give me a yes or no. Did you uh, yeah, it was good. It was a good day. This means always fun. <laughs> just and I, we spent a last few days home, but he doesn't say yes. It's confusion. I wish I could change this. I wish. I want men to appreciate my life because I deserve it. Welcome home. You know, I've always wondered why does she have this thing of what she deserves? Because I deserve it. What does that, what does that actually mean though? I mean, look at it this way. If you're in a situation with someone, you can only deserve things with that person if the things are correct, things are right. The thing, everything is healthy. If it's unhealthy, then nobody, none of you deserve anything, to be honest with you. But if her, she carries this thing around of her, it's like, well, I'm Natalie and I want a child and I've given you sex and I've given you attention, so I deserve everything. That is not the foundation of anything, to be honest with you. None of those things even mean anything because they don't require feelings. They just require, oh, I, just, I gave this, I gave you that, and that's it. I don't give a damn what you gave me. <laughs> I, I, I give a damn about how we make each other feel, and that's it. But hey, she deserves the world, apparently. It's interesting, for someone who deserves a lot, how come she's still in the position of still wanting to deserve anything? Because if she deserved anything, then, well, she wouldn't be on the single life, and she would have been cooped up and married by now anyway and had her family. Hmm. But don't worry, she deserves it. <laughs> Thank you for the day. You're welcome. 
Just kidding, hanging out. Mm-hmm. I'm leaving tomorrow. How was your time here? I was sad that they didn't have enough time with you. Yeah. Well, I thought we had a great day, you know, today. So I'm going to do some thinking, and I would like for you to do some thinking, and I want to keep going with you. But I mean, I, I just don't want to keep going, like, you know, on a loop de loop. So I'm emotionally drained today. What's um, drained? I don't know what's sort of this. Drained is like what? Like, like when you drain the water, it's just disappearing. You are a sushat. Sushat. I'm also shot. You are also shot? <laughs> yeah. From like what? Just, I would never ask you questions about child, never, if I wasn't serious. I just put into my mind this idea that I won't have a child, but on the other hand, I didn't predict that this thing could go this way. Do I understand? I get it, I get it. You know what the most bizarre thing is though? How can you how can you put the pressure on someone for a child, someone who you barely even know? I mean, look at it this way. Okay, at the very beginning, should you have a conversation about if you want kids? Yes. Absolutely. But then once that conversation is had, then you let course take to, to, to take his nature. I mean, look at the end of the day, if you, if they all gone on a first date, second date, whatever, and he's been like, okay, she's been like, okay, do you want children? He's like, yes, I do. And she's like, okay, do you know when you want children? And he's like, well, not anytime soon because I'm occupied with life. Fair enough. Let's sit and leave us that. We we'll proceed. But do you know that he wants them, right? But of course, if she's like, well, I would like to have a timeline of maybe so and so, to be honest with you, is it okay to put a timeline straight away at the very beginning? Uh, personally, I think no, you know, because I think that puts a in, in, in insane pressure on people from the get from the get go. Because then after that, you're thinking about damn, like they wanted me one or two or three years. Well, then does that give me? Is that one or two three years enough for me to actually really get to know that person? Is that one or two three years enough for me to know that I want to actually want to marry that person? You see what I'm saying? That's why I hate this whole thing about oh, but I would like it in one or two. No, I, I, I haven't even known you for a year, let alone two. And you're, you're telling me this after, what, a week, a, a few months? Obviously, that conversation can go, but then again, at the same time, if, you're at, if you are both at an age of 35 plus or something like that, you know, or, or nearly 40, whatever, and you know, obviously, that the balance clock is click, ticking, all right, cool, different story, you can have that conversation earlier on, which I guess now is in that position, right? But the way she's going about it, the pressure that she's putting on is unacceptable. I don't know, you tell me otherwise. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I care for her and I think I have been 100% clear I haven't played any games I mean I'm open for talks of kids in my life if it makes sense for me time wise that you know I can actually do that but I've given her as much you know clarity as I can I just kind of want to see where it goes <laughs> I want to leave on a that's a very sensible answer but she ain't going to respect that answer and that's the problem you should, you should stop wasting time with someone who can't respect anything that he says more or less trying to control the situation. Yeah. I know. Like, I don't want to leave. Remember how we left last time? I want to have a good goodbye with you. you do you accept that? I think it's good to start. Thank you. Good goodbye. Thank you. I'm leaving with positive thoughts. Like, there's still something. So, wake me up. Have a good day. I feel exhausted. Um, I feel the situation is better than in LA because we parted on a good note. On one hand, I had a lot of beautiful, positive emotions. On the other hand, I was upset. I told him what it was. No, it was not what I expected because he's not on the same level. He doesn't understand. So I'm leaving to Florida without answers and maybe even without Josh anymore. <laughs> I mean, for, for Josh's sake, I hope you leave without Josh, to be honest with you. For his own sake, to be honest with you, I felt like he handled it correctly. He handled it properly. Um, and then at the end of the day, whatever happens next is up to her. And that's it. She just has to stay with us on her because he's made it abundantly clear. And if she has to leave, then three days, to be honest with you. Like, I think Josh wins if she walks away. I think any man wins if they walk away from her, to be honest with you. But um, we'll leave it as that. We'll leave it as that. You guys let me know exactly what you're thinking down below, and we'll talk about it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and peace.